Hello, you're very welcome to our video today. It's the 11th of May here in the west of Ireland. And we are just, want, I just want to show you our black currants here. And they're doing quite nicely. We're really happy with the size of the black currant. I don't know if you can see it now going against the uh, backdrop of the sun and the clouds. It's difficult. It's one of those days where it's just cloudy and sunny one moment and rainy and just a real, a real mixed bag of a day. And here we have our red currants that are growing. Here is a, a ridge of soil. Well, this was formerly planted as a, a, as a ridge. We had a ridge in here. Now it's difficult to really, I wanna say it's a bit of a battle to be growing something here because you're always looking at invasive ground cover coming in from underneath, unless we're able to control the, what's underneath the currants coming in to the area. But we used a uh, simple black plastic and it's done a great job of at least keeping the most of the grasses away and it'll allow this. Now this kind of ground here is very spongy. If you were to, um, to walk on, you could feel the kind of the nutrition and the, that has been built up in there. Uh, uh, it has just been allowed to rest and to recuperate. It's very, it's very nice soil. And next door here is our potatoes that we've planted. Uh, I'll just show you what a potato looks like. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the potato and being that you are, you know that it grows on a tuber and that tuber looks just like this. This is a good sized tuber and this is actually what you really want and this is really what I believe you want, a nice sized tuber. And it's difficult to find, in, to find good sized tubers for seeds because the bigger the tuber or the, the better quality it is, the, the better your chances of having a, having a decent uh, seed potato. And it allows you to really, to let that potato get the best possible start in life and really go on to give you a great, great crop. Here you can see some of our potatoes actually coming up at this stage. And that's only coming up in the last couple of days because prior to that it was submerged in the ground. Now I still have to work on this. As I said, this whole ridge was was potatoes before going back, but we haven't we didn't do anything with it for for the last while. It's been left to well, essentially to grow nettles and grasses, and it's a bit of a battle really to bring it back to back to the playing game or the to the field of uh, growing something for us. And this side, what we did was, or what is simply to dig in, to dig in such a way that we didn't really dig it up the ground too much, but we kind of dug it up enough to allow the potato to get a head start. And the same actually for the cabbage over there. It's dug up, but not like totally dug up, only, in, only what is necessary and we've taken off out the roots of the good old nettle here. You can see them here, just piled in there and they really sink themselves in. Now, often at times, I was telling you this was formerly a ridge of potatoes and I, you hear an awful lot of talk these days about no dig garden and no dig garden is the way to go. And okay, I'm, I won't argue with it one way or another. I will kind of have a little bit of a, give you a bit of a debate on whether it is, is the way to go with a potato. Because surely enough, the potato does come up. You can see that was never planted. That wasn't planted, at least not this year. Probably not. I'm not even sure we, we were working.